With the technological advancement in the Bollywood industry, the type of movies that are made have improved thus catching the eye of global cinema. More and more Indian actors are now being recognized by Hollywood. An upcoming talented Indian American Hollywood actor, Roger Narayan, has seen recent fame in the Hollywood industry. TV Asia's Reena Rao got a chance to get his interview at the Amber Restaurant in Santana Row. Let's take a look. Starting acting as a hobby in childhood, during his childhood time in Bangladesh, to now making a mark in Hollywood, Roger shared with us his journey and the support he got from his family in taking such a bold step. Continued to um, you know, act all through school, all through high school, um, and uh, uh, really I think you know, it, it accesses different synapses, different parts of my brain. I think you know, the arts and creative stuff is very right brain. And a lot of our school work, especially you know, growing up in India, is very left brain. You know, you're true. expected to memorize things and remember true, stuff true. and regurgitate stuff. So, uh, in that sense, you know, I think it was more of an exercise of uh, wholesomeness in terms of being more integrated as a person. Mm -hmm. So, I never felt that it was hard to manage the two. And uh, most of the work at that time in theater was at school, right? So teachers always knew what the workload was. Yeah. So they'd, you know, let me off the hook with a homework here or, a, or a paper there, so that I could, you know, pl play that role in the school. Roger has worked in major comedy and drama sitcoms like How I Met Your Mother, Castle, and has done voiceovers in various movies like Happy Feet 2, Mission Impossible 4, and Eat, Pray, Love. He told us about all his works that he has done till now, as well as about the future projects that he's working on. From aeronautical engineering to films to TV to advertisement campaigns, Roger has done it all. And he shared with us all the challenges faced by him and the struggle that he had to go through in pursuing his desired career. I actually first came to the U.S. to uh, go to graduate school. Okay. So I originally came here to do my Ph.D. in aerospace engineering. All right. So uh, uh, I worked on a couple of projects for different things for the government and uh, I was not very happy with the results of what they were doing, a very destructive type of work. You know, that's what you do in aerospace engineering when it comes to defense. So I, I dropped out of my PhD and finished with a master's in mechanical engineering, which is more dos you know, docile, more do-gooder. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so I, did, I graduated with my master's, uh, worked for a little bit in Maryland, where I went to graduate school at College Park, uh, University of Maryland. And uh, the dot-com thing was happening at the time. So that's what brought me to Silicon Valley. They're very, they've been always very supportive. My mom's a very creative person. You know, she's a, a classical Carnatic a vocalist uh, in Bangalore. And uh, we were talking about this earlier before the yeah. interview. And uh, so I always grew up around music, a lot of good you know, books. My dad was an avid, voracious reader. He put me on to reading early on. So all of this kind of milieu, this kind of environment I think really, you know, uh, they, it, they were able to give me that environment. So they wanted to support me in whatever I wanted to do. Yeah. You know, TV shows and sitcoms that I've worked in, they all uh, came through the traditional process of auditioning, you know, just going in, you know, showing my work. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, outside of TV, work in a lot of independent film which affords more uh, facility in terms of trying new roles. Uh, because independent filmmakers are more adventurous, they're more experimental. Yeah. They're, they're not all about just the blonde, uh, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed <laughs> hero. They're open to like a, a spiritual guy being the hero, which I did in one of the films I shot uh, called Quest of Alchemy. I uh, play a badass motorbiker because I, I actually really have my motorbike license. So I got to ride on these badass buells uh, you know, really powerful, high horsepower bikes uh, for a film called Flawless, where I played a, a badass jewelry thief, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bandana and all. <laughs> so I've done voice work on uh, Eat, Pray, Love, yeah. on uh, Mission Impossible for the latest installment of the franchise, and uh, I also played the Indian Penguin in Happy Feet 2, yeah. <laughs> which is a Thanksgiving Christmas release. So. Uh, so it, it was it was a lot of fun. I've also voiced uh, a lot of video games, uh, you know, Age of Empires and these things for Xbox. I am attached to two films currently. Uh, one is Unshackled, in which I play the lead actor. It's a psychological thriller. Yeah, and, and you're the co-producer uh, there. Yes, I'm actually also producing it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's going to be very exciting because it has two positive themes in it. 
One is the uh, uh, concept of acceptance of Muslims after 9/11 in mainstream America. Oh, that's interesting. There's still, you know, these ethnic communities are still going through these uh, yeah, struggles yeah. Uh, because of people not being educated or not knowing what the separation is between fundamentalism and just people who are honest, good citizens, right? Yeah. And uh, and also the other theme is around uh, mental health, especially post-traumatic stress disorder, because you know I think soldiers serve our country, and you know for me. I, my heart goes out to them because they give their, they put their lives on the line, they come back and they're neglected. So their this is part of is the not. same movie? These two themes are handled in a, in a nice way. Oh. That's why it's a psychological thriller. Oh. Even though we're talking about heavy social kind of conscious issues, socially conscious issues, uh, it's not like a message film at all. It's very entertaining. It's okay. going to be part of like your, the viewing experience. All right. um, and uh, so that's one of the films. And Who's directing it? So it's being directed by my dear, dear friend, Nikhil Prakash. And right. uh, he um, has uh, been through the CBS directing showcase. He's you know, had films and film festivals before. We've been buddies since our Bay Area days. He's from the Bay Area that's too. very nice. So I'm going to be surprising her with something romantic. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, probably take her to uh, a restaurant. You know, she and I are huge foodies. Yeah. She's a gourmet chef. Yeah. So her standards are very high Hi. in terms of like impressing her with food. So I have to really do my research and I've been doing it. Um, I've been talking to some friends who are like good chefs and um, you know, people who are in the food industry. Um, and so I'm getting recommendations. I'm going to surprise her with her favorite, you know, um, kind of dinner that I know she's going to be, um, Great. Uh, in, you know, she's going to enjoy. And uh, possibly a good dozen or two dozen red roses, maybe <laughs> uh, some chocolate. She loves chocolate. Yeah, standard things. And right. uh, maybe if I can pull it off, arrange a you know a serenade with a Mexican band or something. Wow. <laughs> two hundred nine years ago, on December thirty first, and the eleventh day of the lunar.